things are. And then the last bit, the big one, I think this is probably the big fixture for the weekend. Arsenal, Newcastle, brother. What's your thoughts on that? Let me give you mine because I know you're going to just say, oh, bullshit. Newcastle winning. Yeah, okay, you go first. You go first. Newcastle winning. You think the Magpies, they are playing at home, but you back the Magpies to beat the Gunners. You really yeah, back in the Magpies. Yeah, bro. After but what they, I know, what they did to I know, us, brother. Bro, I know deep down in your heart you believe Arsenal are going to win the league. I, I, I know it. I know. I'm looking into the camera right now and I'm looking into your soul. And you fucking, I can feel your soul. You're like, Arsenal. Or you, bro, why don't, why don't you show everyone that picture of you in an Arsenal jersey when you were like two or three? Dude, that's, that's my, my mother's doing. It's not me, brother. It's before I knew what it was. <laughs> I couldn't even tie my own okay. shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but honestly, you back, you back Newcastle. You think Newcastle are gonna win? I, I think so, bro. At home, I think it's it's it's. The US, you don't the even US. think a draw. You don't even. You can't even give us a draw. That's no, how much bro. you hate us. You can't even give us a draw. No, bro. I think a two-one win to Newcastle. You think they're gonna give us our first loss? Newcastle just, are gonna be the team that give us our first loss this season. Uh, it, just your guys' last performance and their last performance. Just based on that, bro. And home and home home advantage. Okay, fair enough, but you also have to give us a little bit of like a mitigating factor that we did play like a B team. No Saka, no um, thing, no Declan Rice, no Gabriel Martinelli, no Saliba, no David Rea. So those at least almost half our team is going to be different this weekend. I don't know, bro. I think, I think Newcastle, they're looking good, bro. You guys are obviously too, but you guys have to take a loss somewhere. I think this will be the... Uh, I, I, I think this is the one. Have you ever heard about this team? They were called the Invincibles, bro. Yeah, bro, but it's, 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 it's just once off, bro. It's, it's not happening this year. Yeah, we're going to do it a second time. We're going to do it a second time <laughs> and, and do the double. We're not winning the FA Cup. FA Cup's <laughs> going to give the FA Cup for you guys a chance to get it. Double yeah. Premier League and Champions League this season. I'm calling it right now. I mean, my brother. What's your score there? What do you think, nah. coach? I think it's going to be quite tight. I think it's going to be only one goal, so it's going to be 1-0 or 2-1. The only problem is, Eddie Nketiah was firing against Sheffield. I don't know if he's going to be that good against the Newcastle backline. And yeah. it's, going to be, it's going to depend on what Suck and Martinelli does. So, what those two do is going to be a big factor because no Gabriel Jesus this weekend. Declan Rice will be back. Modern Odegaard will be back as well. So, I do believe the Gunners are too strong for Newcastle on their day. I think we've seen it this season. Newcastle have lost a couple of matches. I think especially against the big boys, it might be a bit more difficult this season because people are going to take them more serious as well. So I'm backing the Gunners for a 2-1 win. Oh, I can see it, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a very close one, bro. Probably if you bet on Arsenal, you it's not a bad bet. But yeah. for me, I'm just going to go with Newcastle, bro. Just because... Yeah. It's, you, you just want to take the first. That's the only reason. Just admit it. There's, there's, you don't even have to have any logic. It's just about because I support Arsenal. We could be playing fucking Sheffield like we did last week. You'll be like, ah, you know what? Sheffield, they're going to be quite dangerous this week. I think they can pull yeah. it off. It's not that. It's like, it's like if you put 10 crabs in a, a bucket, bro. If one tries to climb out, the rest will pull it back, bro. I'm in the bucket and you try to get out. <laughs> come back here, bro. We come and chill with me. <laughs> <laughs> you want the rival, you want the, the 2003-2004 rivalry to come back. Yeah. It's just to, to, to fight to see who can Fuck. come into the top half of the table now. Exactly, brother. But anyway, guys, that's us. That's been the Saturday Sit Down. Hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, please subscribe, and until next time, cheers.